I've been wondering when you'd come around to pay us a visit. Look at him, boys. That is one angry black man. This episode is really about the completion, sort of the comeuppance of Emmett Yoner's arc. Emmett, as a character, has gone through this huge evolution on the show. All through season one and most of season two, we see Emmett, the composed one, the, the morally astute one. And he's really kind of becoming everything that he wanted to be. His wife is pregnant, he's got a great job, everyone admires Emmett, everything is perfect. And then something happens. Are you like sitting in the front seat versus the back? Names get called. Emmett, be cool, all right? His buttons keep getting pushed. And cool. Things get stripped away from him. Fuck you, OJ. That'll take a toll on him, man. Emmett experiences prejudice in the worst possible way, and he's attacked. <laughs> when he's attacked, he takes it like a cop. He just says, you know, he says to Lucas, everything's cool, everything's all right. Sorry about what happened yesterday. I can only turn the other cheek for so many times. But these guys don't settle for everything's all right. They take it one step further. Don't tell me this is a half come baby. <laughs> oh. Although these men are evil, and what they did is wrong, Emmett Yawners does something that is just as wrong. What the hell is this? Relax, he ain't gonna do shit. There's no one else here. You get past me, and you're home free. Working on this particular scene, it really showed what happens when someone is just pushed to the limit. Banshee always throws you something direct and turns it on its ass, and this fight gives you something that you want to root for, for vengeance, but it asks you that question. Is Emmett Yawners right? The violence, it took on a new level. <laughs> It will be a visceral scene to watch. The Bible says, see that no one repays evil for evil. Sometimes repaying it is all you got. I got no problem with that. <laughs>